Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining today's pre-recorded webinar titled Orchestrating Canon's Digital Transformation. Today, we are joined by two industry experts, Rita Dubay, Senior Director of CX Planning and Strategy of Customer Experience Marketing for Canon, and Michael LeBron, Senior Director, IT Innovation Center for Canon. Today's session, which was filmed at this year's Merkel Summit in Tucson, Arizona, We'll explore how Canon, an 82-year-old company that has traditionally focused on product manufacturing and innovation, is transforming to a consumer-centric organization in order to meet the ever-changing needs of modern customers and cultural shifts that have drastically changed the market landscape. During the presentation, Rita and Mike will discuss the necessary elements required to drive this transformation the data, tools, people, and process, and the importance of true partnership and collaboration internally to ensure success throughout this journey. So today we're talking about really the orchestrating of Canon's digital transformation, really an 82-year journey for Canon. So but I want to give you just a little bit of history because it's Canon and we have to do the corporate thing, right? So just to give you a little history. Um, but when you think of Canon, what do you think first? It was probably the first thing you, that comes to mind is, the camera company, right? But the second one is usually the copier company. But to be honest with you, like most of our product line is a lot more than that. It's more than camera and printer products. We have cinema products, professional products, office, industry, even home products. So you can see like binoculars, <laughs> presenters, we have a wide range of products that really span our product line. And that's really the true breadth of all the products that we currently carry. But also, as you know, Canon is a global company starting in Japan, but we have expanded in Europe, expanded in Australia, and of course in the US. But we do have a deep history, not only in worldwide, but also in, in America. We started in the 1930s, and we established ourselves in the US, our first branch in 1955. And then just moving throughout the history of the years up till now, we've had tremendous growth, and we have been uh, expanding all, a lot of different offices and properties in the US. But what I really want to share with you is also, you know, Canon's known for its innovation. Uh, we always joke around in the office is a lot of times we have a lot of best kept secrets at Canon. But one of them is the fact that we have been in the top five for 33 consecutive years for patent holders. Uh, number one among Japanese companies. Number three overall in the US. And Canon invested 8% of our net sales into R&D. But that basically speaks to the fact that we have a lot of research in a variety of areas, not just product, but now also expanding into ser services as well as software. But what I really want to show you, just give you a little snippet as to the long history of Canon that we've had. If we can run the video, please.
that really is our, thank you, Tan and team, for <laughs> that really is our 82 journey, and but it ha really has set up the stage of leading us up to now. So that was then in terms of very product-centric, the way we're doing business, and we're shifting more to really a customer-centric point of view. Um, and that really is the then versus now aspect. For Canon, we understood and recognized, and I give this credit to the leadership at Canon, that we needed to shift our business because we are such a legacy company. We know that a lot of the business as usual is easy to do and to stay comfort in our comfort zone, but we need to step out of that. So we want to shift our business mindset, systems, and also our organization, and for us to empower visionaries everywhere with imaging technology. And what DTP, Digital Transformation uh, Project for Canon, or program, really was about transforming not just a piece of Canon, but all of Canon into a data-driven organization. But you know, it took us a while to get to that point. So we have a couple things where it took a whole year of 2017 for us to get there. So how did we get there? There were really three phases leading up to the Digital Transformation Project. Um, kickoff specifically. So first was really developing the vision. We had to really see, you know, we talked about, you know, Craig talked about that North Star, right? So that's the key word from this uh, summit. That North Star, where did we see Canon needing to be from the business side? So we first had to develop the vision. Then we had to really create the plan. What does that look like? What do the project teams look like? What do we need to focus on? Because as we know, if we wanted to do everything, that's not possible. So we had to pick and choose and prioritize. And then finally, in the third phase, we really had to flesh out that plan, really figure out and work with IT and work with other, other business units to identify those key areas that we need to focus on. But the foundation of those capabilities were four specific areas. The first was the web user experience, the UX. We, and you'll hear a little bit about that a little later on. The second part was the organization structure. It's an 82-year company. And in uh, Canon USA, it's also a long-standing company in the US. So the way we've been structured the organization, we had to rethink how we were gonna work operationally. And what that also meant was the HR component, right? So we had to upskill, do we have the right talent, the right um, the skill set, and upskill them? Are they ready for this with, with the way we do business? Because we are very, you know, we've been doing the same thing as business as usual, and we had to change that. And most importantly is actually IT, the systems and the data sets that we had. So what that led to was a start of a lot of different working groups. So the first one was the technical platforms. So our data sets were all over the place. We had, you know, can online store our e-commerce data, we had registration data, we had all sorts of data everywhere, and we had to consolidate that. But we also needed a platform that can support that. And then a marketing and analytics platform that can do something with it. How many of you most probably have collected a lot of good customer data, but then don't really do anything? I'm sure that's pretty common. And we were kind of in the same place as well. So that was number one. The second one was change management. We talked about that upskilling, right? So do we need to provide the right training, the right communication planning, the right process design, the intake, um, to make sure we do this the right way with the new systems that we have? And then the third part is, like I said, you have the data, you have to do something with it. So that's the analytics portion of it. Enhancing that capability to understand and leverage what the differences are in terms of what we need to do with our customer. You know, that people-based marketing we keep hearing about, actually really implementing that. And then omnichannel. So that can span social, PR, um, email, many different things. But we need to overall improve the sales performance and the activation of those programs. And then we have web UX. So as you can tell, we did a lot, and this was just within one year um, of actual implementation of this. Web UX is enhancing our inbound digital experience with Canon. And finally, which is something that is a differentiation for us, is a photo community, a two-way engagement platform for us and our photographers, what we call advanced amateurs, as well as professional photographers. But with this plan that we had, we needed to build a foundation. And that foundation of business is defining first, you know, knowing what you want, you know, and that doesn't mean just the executives, it also means working with your staff and looking at from all levels, what do they need, what do they struggle with, and identifying those problems and then working it through. Because like we said, we heard a little bit, not everyone on the executive level necessarily knows what's going on and happening um, you know, right on the ground. So we need to seek out those answers. 
But the foundation of it all is IT, right? So IT is the one that empowers the tech and tools and the timeline to help us meet those business needs. But that's the internal partnership that we talk about. So the other really important partnership is finding potentially the external partners, right? And that, you know, a big plug for Merkel is Merkel. So for us, let's be honest, if we were to do our BAU, business as usual, for Canon, sometimes when we do that, it's easy to do project-based, but it's hard to get things going, right? And then Merkel, with their data insights and their data expertise, with the right talent and the right teams that they have working with us, it put us in that right direction to really schedule out what we need to do, but also help us prioritize, because as business always wants, we want the world. We want to do everything, and we want to do it yesterday. But they helped us kind of define those strategic roadmaps, those milestones, and that North Star, and to give us a realistic plan of how we need to proceed. And again, that's finding the right partner internally as well as ex externally. 